Hello and welcome to today's class. So for today we are asked to evaluate x in this um, equation where we are having the determinant of a matrix being equal to minus 7. So how do we do this? First things first, we know that this means determinant and we know to get determinant our first task is to add plus minus plus. So it becomes plus x. So I'm having that's equal to plus x or x into cover this cover the row of x and the column that's this and this i'm left with x2 1 minus 3 it becomes x2 1 minus 3 i'm done with this next up minus 1 or simply minus cover the row and the column so for minus cover the row of this and the column of this i have 3 2 x minus 3 so 3, 2, x, minus 3. And then finally I have plus 4. So plus 4 into cover the row, cover the column. I have 3x, x, 1. So 3x, x, 1. So I have this. All right. So if you're done with this now, this is equal to of course this is equal to minus 7 as said in the question so equal to equal to minus 7 i have to add that there so equal to minus 7. all right so let's work this out now this becomes x so i have x into for this becomes this times this x times minus 3 is minus 3x minus this times this 2 times 1 that's 2 next up minus so minus becomes three times minus three is minus nine minus two times x is two x plus four so plus four into three times one that's three minus x times x that's x squared is equal to minus seven so equal to minus 7. All right, my next step would be to expand brackets. 3 times minus x gives you minus 3x squared. x times minus 2 gives you minus 2x. minus times minus 9 gives you plus 9. minus times minus 2x gives you plus 2x. plus 4 times 3 gives you plus 12 plus times minus gives you minus 4 times x squared gives you 4x squared is equal to minus 7. So I have this equation. My next task says to collect like terms. So collect like terms. If I collect like terms, take the x squared together. It becomes this one first. Minus 3x squared Take this one next, minus 4x squared. I'm done with the x squared terms. Next up, take the x terms, becomes this one, minus 2x. This one next, plus 2x. I'm done with the x's. Take the constant term, this one, plus 9. And then this one here, plus 12 is equal to minus seven so from here minus three x squared minus four x squared gives you minus seven x squared minus two x plus two x gives you zero so this will cancel this is off nine plus twelve will give you plus twenty one is equal to minus seven i'll have to move minus seven over here i'm having minus seven x squared plus 21 minus 7 comes here becomes plus 7 equal to 0. So this one comes here becomes positive. I'm having minus 7 x squared plus this and this gives you 28 is equal to 0. So I'm having minus 7 x squared is equal to 28 comes here becomes minus 28. All right, so let's get x squared. I'll divide both sides by minus 7. 
All right, if I divide both sides by minus 7, it gives you minus 7x squared over minus 7 is equal to minus 28 over minus 7. This cancels this, this cancels this. I have that x squared is equal to this cancels this. 8 over 27 is what? 4. Yeah? So, take square root. Square root of x squared is equal to square root of 4. This cancels this. x is equal to... We've said earlier in a previous class on quadratic equation, whose link is in the description, that the square root of any term is both the positive and the negative of that value. So, square root of 4 is not just 2, but plus or minus 2. So, hence, x is equal to plus 2 or minus 2. This becomes the answer. All right, so I'll leave a link um, to a video class on both matrices and determinants in the description of this video. I'll also leave a link to quadratic equation in the description or you can check them here. See you in our next class.